Nothing says a well-dressed gentleman or derby time like a bow tie. It is time to get bow tied. With me now is Dr. Michael Rolf. Dr. Rolf, welcome to the show. Thanks so much. I appreciate being here. You, you know, as much as I love a bow tie, it's, it, it makes it even more special when it's for a great cause. From Absolutely. what I understand, this is to raise awareness for epilepsy, the Epilepsy Foundation of Kentuckiana, Absolutely. and muscular dystrophy as well. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, tell me a little bit how you got involved. From what I understand, you met a young lady named Heather Lang. You've got a yeah. personal connection. T tell me a little bit about the story. Well, um, you know, a few years ago, actually, when I was in dental school, um, I was looking for a nice U of L bow tie. Couldn't find one, uh, and I thought, well, why don't I, why don't I make my own? About the same time, my two cousins had passed away, one from muscular dystrophy and one from epilepsy. And I thought, well, why don't I make my own? And then certainly, I can give a portion of the proceeds in their honor to both the Epilepsy Foundation and Muscular Dystrophy Associations. So, uh, with that said, you know, obviously maintaining the philanthropic mindset of the company, uh, we were at a philanthropy event, happened to meet Heather. Uh, she more or less introduced me to her little girl. Uh, drastically had an impact on me and I wanted to do everything that I could to help her uh, and to help her family. Uh, yeah, from, from what I understand, Hadley Joe, correct? That was, mm -hmm, that, was, that was Heather's daughter. Now, from what I understand, it's like they, they go out and they get the, these dogs who can assist them. Dogs can sense when there's an epileptic seizure coming. They can actually correct. aid the person with epilepsy. Absolutely. This, this is interesting. And all this can be quite expensive. And for, for perhaps a, a, young, a young little boy or a little girl who can't afford this, this is where those funds go, correct? Absolutely. And our goal is uh, to raise enough money to be able to provide the funds for one to two families to have a service service dog this year through the Epilepsy Foundation of Kentuckiana, which is, you know, a pretty lofty goal when you think, um, you know, a service dog can cost anywhere from fifteen to sixty thousand um, dollars by the time it's all said and done with training and everything. Wow, so. Do Dr. Roth, isn't it amazing? We always talk about how dogs are man's best friend, but they Absolutely. can actually be life saving. That's I mean, true. I think it's incredible. It's true. Well, let's take a look at some goods here. Okay, so we have you brought some. Now, if people want to buy these bow ties, and it goes for this very, very worthy cause. Steinmart, correct? Yes, and then in addition to that, uh, the bow tie that I'm wearing today, and then also it's this one that's right here on top. Uh, we had actually designed this tie um, for that. It's got these little purple dogs on it, um, and oh. so. Uh, <laughs> The goal with this, we're actually giving 100% of the proceeds to the Epilepsy Foundation in Hadley Joe's honor to raise the funds for those families. Um, and, and those are available on our website, bowtide.com. Uh, in addition to that, all of the items that are in Steinmart uh, on April 29th, we'll actually be um, having an event, a fundraiser that day from open to close uh, at Steinmart uh, to raise funds. You'll be asked if, at the end of your purchase if you'd like to donate uh, back to uh, the Epilepsy Foundation. But uh, any money raised will be given then directly to this fund that we've created uh, with the Epilepsy Foundation. So uh, anybody that donates will actually receive a complimentary pair that we've donated of the uh, Hope for Hadley Joe's socks. Uh, Hope for Hadley Joe socks. That's right. <laughs> That's uh, cool. These these loud purple uh, and pink <laughs> socks with the purple dog on it as well. So you'll receive a complimentary pair of those. Now, now you say loud, but you know Derby time. You really you want to show off a little bit. That's, it's a, it's why a, it's I'm wearing, wearing what I'm wearing. That is a fantastic looking tie. Now I, I will buy one of these ties. If you, can you show me how to tie one of those? I sure can. I, I want I want to watch you at work here. And and by the way, our sales exec, executive extra, extraordinaire, and he is extraordinary. Uh, Michael Vanover is in the house, and Michael Vanover is wearing one of these bow ties. Look at this. Come on in, Michael. That way we can see a little bit more of the goods. Yes, look how a, handsome. This is another one of the bow tie items right here. Look at this. You look so handsome, my uh, man. I, just, know, I, I think it really helps, and I need all the help I can get. So. <laughs> I know. You look great. I might wear it every day. You look fantastic. I might wear different ones every single day the rest of the week, uh, and then next week for Derby. You know, right. Well, you well, listen. Yep. I, I agree with you. You taught me beforehand, so let's see. How hard is it? it he, not, he, not hard. he tied hard. this tie himself. I did nothing. Mm. I stood. I stood there and watched. I said, "Well, what do you need me for? You can go do this." All right, let, let, let's see you go to work here because I've okay. tried to do this. You know, you can go online and they'll give you, but it's a lot better when you have a, an actual human showing you how to do this. So, okay, so, I'm, I'm so, trying to follow you here. Right. So no pressure, right? At this point, you know. Okay. Uh, so, so the which key one needs to be longer? Is, uh, I would say uh, right side, about an inch and a half to two inches longer than the left side here. Okay. Okay. Um, and you just let them. Hang down so it's very much like a shoelace okay okay so longer end over shorter end 
up and around, and this is just as if you're tying a shoelace. So okay. if you're looping the first part of the shoelace, okay? So then you take the longer end, which is now hanging in front, toss it out of the way there, okay? Uh, and then what you'll do is any, any bow tie you're going to take here and fold it at the wider portion here, okay? Fold it over. Ooh. And that's what makes the front portion or the front loop of a bow tie, okay? So now this portion comes back down over, uh, and then you more or less have it. You're almost finished. You're almost there. Uh, but then I would say pinch the two wings together. Yeah, but you made it through med school, you know. This is nothing yeah. for you. Dental school, but still <laughs> nevertheless. All, you know, still all, all All the same. But here's the really important key, that, and if you zoom in right here, you'll be able to see uh, on the side here there, there's a loop created right here. Okay. Okay? And this is created from that front portion hanging down. Uh, and this is the loop that you know, on any YouTube video you can never see, and it's always challenging to, to figure out what's going on. But all you do is you just push the loop, through uh, this portion here, at this point you pretty much have oh, man. the bow tie. Now, I'm kind of watching on the screen here to see what I'm, what yeah, I'm doing. The, the but, screen is your mirror. But yeah. it, it is, absolutely. Um, Coming together. So, so in order to finish the, the rest of the bow tie, all you'll do is pinch the two sides um, that you're trying to tighten against, and then over here, you're just going to pull this little loop it looks great. I mean, I always, I, I really think it just reeks gentleman, and also to me, it really speaks to Derby. I mean, this is a Derby look. I love it. That's a beautiful tie. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I'm trying to look and see. I, it looks no, halfway. You no, you've done well. Yes, you've done very, very well live on te on television too. It's kind of like the golfers who hit the beautiful shot, you know, and they're on a PGA Championship and they do it on television. Good I for know. you. Absolutely. All right. So again, if people want to uh, want to give, and I know they do, this is all to help out folks who, who suffer from epilepsy, muscular dystrophy as well. Yeah. Steinmark, what day again do you recommend they come out there, doctor? So this Saturday, uh, from open to close. Um, Perfect time to shop. Exactly. All day. Uh, they will be donating uh, at the end of every uh, purchase. You'll be able to donate directly to uh, the Epilepsy Foundation of Kentucky in, in honor of the Hope for Hadley Joe project. So in addition to that, uh, you'll actually also get a 20% off coupon for Steinmark to be used on one particular item. So Steinmark's been a great um, partner. They have been fabulous. I can't, I can't thank them enough um, in, in all that they've done for us with this project and getting this off the ground. But in addition to that, if uh, you want one of these uh, ties that we've designed specifically for Hadley Joe, Beautiful you can color. go to bowtie.com, uh, which is just spelled as, as you see there, uh, and you can purchase one of the ties. We're giving 100% of the proceeds back in her honor, and you can actually find links on our website to donate directly to those, pay, or to those foundations as well. All right. Dr. Roth, thank you very much. Absolutely. You did a beautiful job. And coming up here, we're going to continue.